Welcome all to the Weekly Outlook. Burn here from Elliott Wave Pro. Getting straight into the Weekly Outlook, looking at the DXY on the daily. I've, I've gone to this uh, ABC here. Now, um, I've changed that count. I was looking at that WXY, X2 and a Z down, or we look at it at that flat. Um, ever since this just come down and broke that low, I've been looking at a possible A, B, C in here as the flat, and then we get a larger A, B, C. Looks like that's the case, and we can come down to this 100 fib or around this trend line here on the daily. So there's quite a bit of room down, um, but we are getting that bullish divergence now. So, um, you know, you have to be a bit careful. On the H4, We've got this, like, W, X, we're in this wave, Y. You'd be waiting for this X, too, and then you look for the Z down. Um, if you're trading flags in here, you can, um, but they're only really scalps. Uh, the safest way is to look for the X, too, and then look for yourself. Wait for something corrective in here. If it looks corrective in here, around a similar size as that, over here, well, then you can look for the cell. I don't think there's much on uh, H1. It's just one way. You'd be looking for a correction, you know, and this might be quite choppy for some time. AU on the daily. So... This is, we've got this A, B, C, and then we're looking for that A, B, C up to the 100 fib. It was looking nice with this breakout here. Um, it come down quite deep. Um, if you go ahead down to the H4, I don't think this broke that top. It didn't quite, it hadn't quite broken the top yet. So we got some sort of an A, B, C in here. <laughs> Um, more than likely, uh, this top will be broken. I'd be very surprised if it doesn't get broken. Um, go down to the H1. We may be able to find something to get in on. Like, I'd be looking at, like, uh, where is the low here? Okay, so we got a, a W, X, Y. You'd be looking for an X2, and I dare say we will get a ball hidden in here. So I would be looking for waiting until we get the ball hidden. We, we already have a possible ball hidden here. In here. So I would be waiting for this to end. Um and then give us a nice bullish setup. If we've got a bullish setup, then you could look to buy. Let's go and break this top and the other top. Um, and you'd be ideally targeting that 100 fib on the daily. You'd be targeting that 74 cent mark. Uh, EU on the daily. So we're looking at that A, B, C up to this 100 fib. Um, H4. Looking for a motive structure up. Um, we've got this like W, X. We're in this wave Y. We can still get up to that 161.8 and then we'll be looking for an X2 and then a Z up. Again, to get in this now, it's risky to get up. You don't want to be buying up here. You have to wait for a correction. If you get a correction in here next week, then you can start to look for a buy. <coughs> Excuse me. Unless you're um, scalping, and I wouldn't, you know, 
I mean, if you go down onto the lower time frames, you may be able to scalp, you know, do some scalping, but um, yeah. The safest way is to wait for the larger correction. Uh, GU on the daily, we've got that A, B, we're looking for that C up, up to that 100 fib. And internally here, we have like a W, X, Y, X2 and a Z up. That's what I'm looking for, that extended wave in that wave C, like I've been mentioning for a long time. Um, H4. I thought we may have had a bearish divergence in here, but we don't. So more than likely, um, actually, it's probably on the H1. So we'd be looking for a correction in here. We got a W X Y. Would be looking for an X two, back to this thirty eight point two, um, and I dare say this will give a ball hidden in here, um, and then you can look for that wave Z up. So for the cell, I, you know, you may get cells on the lower time frames to be able to get in this, um, targeting this thirty eight point two. You have to be very careful because it can be very choppy in a correction. Um, you know, um, you really got to take the first opportunity, the sell, if you're looking for these sells in a correction. Um, safest way is to wait for this X2 to be over um, and then look for your buy setup. NU on the daily. This is very slow as well. We're looking for that A, B, C up to the 100 fib on the daily. And we, we do have some sort of W, X, Y, X to the Z up. We'll probably get an extended wave in here or five up in here. Um, and we'll see. Ideally, it gets up to this 100 fib, but it really only just needs to break that ending point of wave A. H4, you can see, looking at like a W, X, Y, You're waiting for an X2 and then a Z up. Is there anything on the H1? Again, you'd be waiting. This may not be over here yet. Um, um, you'd be waiting for an X2 and then a Z up. Uh not sure there's really not opportunity to sell you know you're getting it's very choppy so you, you more than likely it's just an abc some sort of a correction in here i would be waiting for a hidden divergence um you know uh, i'd be waiting for a correction give us a hidden divergence in here um and then look for the x uh, sorry for the wave Z up. Um, yeah, you you really need to know how to trade these hidden divergences and what to look for um, to be able to trade them safely. But yeah, I can't really go into that here. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I'd be looking for. I'd be waiting for this wave here to end and then look for a bull hidden. Um, and then have that ball hidden confirmed, and then I'd be looking for the buy. G U, uh, sorry, G Y. So we're looking at that W X extended wave Y X two, and then a Z up. Uh, is this? We got this internal W, X, Y. I'd be waiting for an X2 and then a Z up in here to finish off that wave Y. Um, it's not over yet by the look of this. Um, yeah. We're getting all this bearish divergence. Oh, no, actually, we're not. We've lost the bearish divergence. That's right. Um, 
it looks like some sort of a W X. Uh, sorry, A B C in here. So I wouldn't be surprised if we get more upside. We do have that ball hidden here, so I'd be very surprised if that top doesn't get broken. Um, you, you're trading at the end <clears throat> at a top, so it gets risky. Um, you would really need to go down to the lower time frames um, to get the buy. Um, whether you got this A, B, C in here and buy. Um, we do have a bear hidden here. Uh, so you do have to be very careful. Um, it's more of a sell. Um, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if this does go down and break that low before <clears throat> we go up. Um, for the hidden ball hidden, but on the H1 we have a bear hidden. So um, if I just go down to the M15 quickly, um, yeah, we sort of got one, two, three in here. One, two, three. So we get an A. This may be a B, and then we get a C down in here, and then another one up. Some sort of W, X, Y, X, 2, and then a Z up. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'd be staying out of it, unless you know how to trade these hidden divergences. Because you're at the top of the market, so you've got to be very careful. U, Y on the daily. So this one's starting to play. <clears throat> we looking for that A B C. We've been look, waiting for this wave C down for a long time. We're, we're getting that now. Um, I'd really like to see a ball hidden in here. If we get a ball hidden in here, um, that'd be nice. So we're looking at that A B C. This one here may go up and break that top, um, or it's just a like a, a, an A. B, C. I'm more looking at it as an A, B, C on YouTube. Um, if you're going to buy this for that flat, you know, if we're looking at this as an A, B, C, and it's a flat, um, you, you really, to trade this flat, to buy it, you, you have to get in on the first one, you know, to keep your risk down. Um, you have to go down even to a lower time frame um, because we're getting a, a bear hidden in here. So more than likely, we'll get some sort of a correction um, and then more downside to break that low. Uh, or we get a correction in here and it goes up and breaks the top. So that's why I say you really need to get in on the first correction and we'd be looking at the lower time frames to, to get an entry. Um, so I'd be looking at some sort of an A, B, C in here. If we've got a C down in here, a breakout, um, then you could look for the buy. you really got to wait for this three down in here. If, if this looks nice or even five down, um, you need a correction in here. If you get a nice correction in here and then a buy set up, well, then you can buy, uh, get it to break even at the break of the top here. Um, and wherever the 100 fib, a, B, C, wherever that 100 fib is, take half off and um, leave the rest run and it may be that, uh, that larger correction. You know, up to this 100 fib, this may be A, B, C um, as a flat and then you go up and break this top. Um, The CAD, you CAD on the daily. So this time factor here is just about over. Um, 
unfortunately, we did lose the bullish divergence in here, but um, it, it's turned into a little bit more complicated, this, uh, this correction in here. Um, the H4, though, if we look at the H4, we have a, a, a new low with bullish divergence. So we have bullish divergence between the two lows. Um, we may get a bear hidden in here. Uh, I would be looking for the buy, but um, it is quite risky at this stage, uh, even on the H1, because I dare say we'll get a bear hidden in here. A possible bear hidden. Um, <clears throat> I would be, and again, if you're looking to buy, you really got to get in on the first one. I would be waiting for a correction in here. If it looks corrective in here, I would be taking the risk for the buy, even if it's just an A, B, C, um, because it can re it, it can continue on. Um, like when we look at the the daily, you know, we are looking for this wave Z up. So you know, really, any buy opportunity you get um, uh, pays to. Uh, Look for it, and yeah, we'll be looking for that wave Z up. The Swiss E on the daily. I finally changed my count on this. Um, well, not really changed my count, but I, I had this as an A, B, C in here as a flat. So we had an A, uh, W, X, Y, X2, and we get a Z down. I've changed that into a larger flat here. So nothing's really changed. It's, it's still an A, B, C, possibly down to that 100 fib. <clears throat> uh, yeah. The H4, getting some sort of emotive structure down, like I mentioned last week, Looking at that W, X, Y, looking for an X2 and then a Z down. So, again, its safest way is to wait for the correction and then trade in the direction of the trend for that wave Z down. Um, and, again, I'd be waiting for this, wherever this ends, um, more than likely we'll get a bear hidden in here. And then you can look for that one down. EU. Sorry, EG on the daily. We've got looking at that A, B, C. Possibly can come down to this 100 fib. We don't have any bullish divergence. So the H4, we're starting to get this bullish divergence in here now. Um, is there a buy set up on it? It had a bear hidden in here, um, turned into a correction, so we get an A. This is looking more like a flat in here. If you get some sort of a flat in here, you could look for the buy. If you get an A, B, C down in here, um, and then a bullish setup on the lower time frames, you could look for that buy for a, at least an A, B, C. Um, and that's the way I'd be looking at it as this is possible flat. Um, because at this stage, it's just broken that low. So if we get a, another one down here, it may be expanding. It may be an expanding flat. It doesn't matter if it's running or expanding. But um, if it comes down here and then you get a nice bullish setup, I'd be looking for the A, B, C. Would I be selling this? Um, you probably could. Um, you could probably look for a sell. But you'd have to keep in mind that it's maybe just an A, B, C. So you you really got to be on the lower time frames to trade this down. Um, by the look of it, there's 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 nothing on even on the M15. There's no sell set up on it yet. I'd be more interested in the buys.
So this WTI on the daily, it's starting to play nicely. Well, we're looking at that A, B, C. Um, A, B, C. This is the low here, and we have all that bullish divergence. The problem was um, when we got this one down, we got a nice impulse up, but then it was a very long correction. So I was just looking for more downside. I was looking for an A, B, C, and then come down, break the low. Um, it turned more complex, but it's finally hit that 100 fib now. So we finally have what I've been looking for for a long time is that this wave up here, like last week, you know, we're looking for this up here. So now we have that A, B, C. Um, does it fall over from here and go and break the low? Well, that's definitely possible. Um, there's really, uh, I mean, you'd have to go down because we're getting a ball hidden in here. Um, so if you're looking for the sell, for that sell to go and break the lows, um, you, you have to get in on the first one. And this is your first opportunity here if we look on the M15. Um, you know, if we get an A, B, C up in here as some sort of a flat, well, then you could look for an A, B, C. And it may take off on you and turn motive and go and break the low. Um, so I would be looking for a little one up here. I'd, I'd, I'd even be going down to the lower time frames and, and looking at this uh, as a possible flat. If that turns into a flat, well, then, you know, I'd be looking for the sell. Looking at gold. And so this is quite difficult. We've got I'm looking at an A B C in here. And then an A B C. A B C as the larger flat, and then we get the A B. C, possibly up to that 123.6 and the 161.8 on the weekly for the weekly targets. It's still very much bullish, this. Um, it's more on the H1. But you got some sort of a, like a WXY. You'd be waiting for an X2 and then a Z up. Um, it may not give you a hidden divergence in here if this stays flat. You'd be looking for a correction, a similar size to this in time. So there's still quite a bit of time left. Once the time factor's over, you start looking for the buys. Um, uh, and I wouldn't be selling this at this stage. There is no no sort of a sell setup on it. Looking at silver. So nothing's changed on the daily. We lost the bearish divergence in here. I was just looking for a correction and then another one up. Um, all the second scenario was that this comes down, breaks that low um, and then goes down and breaks that low. But, um, you know, just for YouTube, I've just been looking at this as a correction for more upside. H4, we did have the bullish divergence. Um, I was, last week, I was sort of looking for a sell, even though we had that bullish divergence. Uh, you know, um, this was looking very corrective. So there was a possible that we get another one down in here. Now it's broken out, so you can only look for the buy, obviously. You know, so you'd be waiting for uh, a hidden divergence. I'd be looking for a hidden divergence in here, waiting for the correction, get a, a hidden divergence, and then definitely look for the buy. Um, I dare say on the lower time frames we're starting to get on the M15 we're starting to get bearish divergence in here so I'd be looking for that correction not so much looking for the sell more interested in looking for the buy but waiting to see what happens in here in the correction if we get that ball hidden then start looking for the buy 
Bitcoin on the daily. So I'm looking at that A, B, extended wave C up for the flat. Before we get more downside, go and break this low or even this low. Um, in here, we got this internal wave here as well, W, X, Y, X, 2, and we got that Z up. We're looking for this Z up. We had the bull hidden. Um, it's still going very much sideways here. So it, it's more bullish. It's still pretty much bullish. Like I said last week, though, Bitcoin, um, it stays in these corrections for a very, it can stay in these corrections for a very long time. Um, there's a lot of patience involved if you're trading Bitcoin. Um, so it, it has gone up and broken the top again. Um, so we are getting the bearish divergence. So it makes it extremely hard to get a buy set up because this is more of a sell, right? Um, we've got the bearish divergence. So it, it's more of a sell, uh, even though, more, more than likely, I think we'll get more upside. But uh, looking at the strategies, the trading strategies itself, how we trade, uh, I can only look for the sell on this at this stage. So if you're looking, I mean, to buy it, um, like I said last week, to buy it, you really had to, you can only buy above that top. Now, it did go up and break that top, but after it broke the top, it just fell over. It didn't give you a correction, so there's no, you, you, you couldn't get a buy on it. Um, and it's just fallen over. So more than likely, this is some sort of an A, B, C here. Um, so it may come up and break the top again. But, um, yeah, if you're going to buy, you have to get in on the first one, well, like I've been mentioning, you know. So on the even on the M15, it's still bearish. We've got a W, X, Y, X2, and a Z down. If you're looking for the buy, you've really got to buy this in here. Um, you've got to wait for a setup in here. And we're all already on the M15 chart, you know. So you'd have to go down to even lower charts to, to and really you'd just be looking for an A, B, you'd just be looking for that C up. Um, getting out of at least half and if it does go on you, all, all good. Um, but yeah, it, it is a risky trade at this stage. It's more of a sell. You know, I'd be looking for more of a sell. If that looks corrective there, I'd be looking for another one down. Uh, S&P 500. So this one's finally broken out of that 100 fib now. So we've got that A, B, C. I'll have to change my count. Um, we lost that bearish divergence um, between the A and the C. And now... If I just that was the first target that hundred fib, but um, it, it's broken out now. So more than likely we'll get up to this one sixty one point eight that second target. So we'll get a W X Y. Then we'll be waiting for an X two and then a Z up. Um, H four. Even last week it was risky to buy. There was that chance, like I said, you know, this can um, be a flat in here and we get another one up for an A, B, C. We are still getting bearish divergence. Um, on the H1, you, you more than likely will get a buy on this. So um, we come from a low, um, nice impulse up. So if you get a correct, if this looks corrective in here, you'd probably have to wait all week for this correction. And then you'd be looking for a buy. Uh, AU two hundred. This has been, you know, a nightmare as well. We're looking at the A B C up to that hundred fib. This started to go up in here, and then we got that large correction. You know, 
Um, so this has been quite difficult. It hadn't really been playing very nice. Um, you know, it's, I'm still bullish. You know, this is corrective. We've got a nice impulse up. But more than likely, this is just an A, B, C up. This is a very drawn out long correction in here. On the lower time frames, you know, we can only buy this um, at this stage. Um, you know, so what I'd be waiting for, we can only buy it. We've got one, two, three down. Impulse up. So, you know, you can only really buy this. Be waiting for a correction and then um, looking for the buy. Um, yeah, it's pretty much all you can do. You can only really sell under that low. Um, you'd have to wait for a nice impulse down and then a sell set up um, to sell. Um, so, yeah, at this stage, we're only looking for a buy. I'd be looking for a correction in here next week. And that may take all week. Um, and then I'd be looking for a buy. The FTSE. So we got that A, B, C, A, B, C. And then we got that larger A, B, C. It's gone up and breaking the ending point of, uh, well, this wave Z. This is the larger correction. We got five up in here. Larger correction, and it's gone up and broken that top. Um, I still think this is like an A, B, C. I'm still looking for this one up as some sort of a flat. Um, then we may get more A, B, C, and this can turn quite complex because we're at the top of the market, you know. Um, we'll get a correction after a correction after a correction. Um, here, yeah, you really have to be careful again. Um, you know, I mean, we've got some sort of W, X, Y. This can be an X2 and we get a Z down with a bear hidden here. So, again, you know, we're getting all these possible hidden divergences. So, um, you know, if you really want to learn how to trade these hidden divergences safely, you know, um, by all means, join the group. Can't really share it in here. Um, but uh, you can also look for a buy. Uh, you know, this is the low here. This is very corrective and very deep. To this, so I'm just looking for that A, B, C. You know, um, is it ready for the buy yet? I, I, I you know, we've got that bear hidden on the H4, so you have to be careful. If you're looking for the sell, you'd be waiting for a little correction in here Monday or Tuesday, and as soon as it gets to the A, B, C. To the 100 fib you move it to break even and if it breaks through the 100 fib you keep it to go and break the low for the bear hidden um if you get like an a b c in here um and then a nice buy setup where you can buy it if you're buying it you definitely want to be at break even at the break of that top for an a b c uh Definitely want to be a break even at the break of that top because the bear hidden on the H4 still can play out and your price action just breaks the top and then it falls over on you um, and comes down and breaks the low. So, yeah. And looking at the DAX on the daily. This is, we're at highs, we're at tops, you know. Um, so it gets very difficult to buy up up the top, especially when you have all this bearish divergence, it becomes very risky. And you can see how choppy it is up the top here. Um, but I'm looking for that A, B, C as an expanding flat, and then we get like a, a, an A, B, C. So overall, I am looking for one down. I'm looking, looking to finish off the whole corrective structure. It's not giving us that one down though yet. Um, it, we've been waiting for it to fall over for a long time. You know, after all this bearish divergence, it's only a matter of time and it will fall over. Um, there's no question about that. 
but it's, it's having the patience to uh, to get in on it. Did we break that top there? We didn't. So this is quite difficult as well um, to give a direction this week because we have a bear hidden here. So this top here is a high. This one didn't go and break that top. So it can come down as an A, B, C. And perhaps this is like an A, B, C in here. Um, but really... It's more bullish, even though we have that bearish hidden. Um, yeah, you really have to be very careful buying it because we do have that bull hidden. Uh, sorry, bear hidden. But um, you really got to wait to see if you get a correction in here. If this looks very corrective in here and drawn out in here, well, then you could look for the buy. If you got a sharp move down in here um, and it looks bearish, you know, then you could look for the sell for the bear hidden. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the weekly outlook. If you did, please hit the like button, share, subscribe. Enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you out there next week.